Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Iguchi. I'm a neurosurgeon that specializes in spine surgery, part of the expert care team here at MedStar Health. Well, 20 years ago, as I was finishing medical school, I ended up becoming a patient myself. I woke up one day with severe neck pain shooting down my arm, and after a few weeks, I ended up getting an MRI and seeing a neurosurgeon. At the end of it, I did have to have surgery, um, and that is one of the things that helped me to pick spine surgery as a career. Yeah, neck and back pain can really affect people every day. Uh, when I had pain, it was all I thought about all day, all night. Um, how can I get this better? And so I understand that that changes a person's life dramatically. Um, not being able to do things that they want to do, uh, not enjoying family activities. Um, and so it's one of those things that we want to try and help people get better reasons to see the doctor uh, would be pain that is out of control. Uh, you aren't able to walk up and down stairs, uh, lift your kids up, pain that impedes your ability to walk, and pain that lasts for more than four to six weeks is unusual. So that's when we would usually recommend seeing a doctor. Some of the most common conditions that we treat are herniated discs, bulging discs, spinal stenosis, and spinal fractures. There are a lot of non-surgical conservative management treatments that we can try, and a lot of that will include medications like anti-inflammatories, physical therapy, pain management and injections, and many of the patients will start there even before we start talking about a surgery. For many patients, conservative management techniques do help with your symptoms, but when that fails, people come back and we talk about surgery and make an informed decision on how to proceed. Neurosurgery and spine surgery has evolved a lot over the years and it's changed dramatically even over the past 30 years. Uh, 30 years ago, MRI changed the way surgeons do surgery because we are now able to see what we were doing even before starting the surgery. 10 years ago, uh, advances like artificial discs made it into the mainstream and it has become a big part of a neurosurgeon's clinical practice. Computer-assisted technology such as navigation in the operating room have made it easier for surgeons to do minimally invasive approaches which help with patients uh, making it safer and quicker with their recovery. It may be a cliche, but every patient is different. Every patient has their own story, and we like to personalize care for each patient. Two people may have a herniated disc, but the symptoms may be different in each of you, and so figuring out the best treatment for you is what we want to achieve. One of the things that's most rewarding as a surgeon is to have patients come back and tell me that they are so glad that they had the surgery, and that they're doing activities that they haven't done in a long time that they enjoy.